blah, 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 blah. We have a great poem for you today. It's Crossroads by Austin Aseke. There are battles which I doubt I can fight, but winning them would give me great delight. Although my dreams and ideas are bright, I still ponder over my plight. Different thoughts emanate in my mind, lost opportunities I doubt I will ever find. My ignorance of everything has made me blind. I never wish to face hardships of this kind. My memories of my mistakes haunt me. Mountains of problems confront me. Sickness of all sorts attack me, while doubt and confusion overpower me. But I know that by trusting and putting God to the test, he will locate me, whether I am in the north or the west. And with him, I will continue to pray and hope for the best, believing that in the end, my heart will have eternal rest. What a gorgeous poem. Isn't it, though? Let's dissect the poem. Well, all right. Let's start with rhyme. The rhyme scheme is A, 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 B, 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 C, 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 and D, 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 D. In each stanza, the last word of every line rhymes. That's right. Did you know that Austin Aseke is a pastor from San Antonio, Texas? Do you think this has anything to do with the poem that he wrote? Wow, I didn't know that. That is so cool. Um, I don't know. Well, I guess I'll have to find that one out, Jess. Did you also notice that there wasn't any particular meter or rhythm in this poem? I did notice that. So it's a free verse. That's right, Sabine. Let's move on to our favorite segment. Tough, Tough words. words! Woo! Okay. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited! But this is my favorite part. Did you have any problems with any of the words, Sabine? I did. I, sh I wanted to know what plight means. Me too. Let's look, look it up! up. Well, plight means a difficult or challenging situation. Oh no! I guess that means that Mr. Sake was having a tough time. You know what word I didn't understand? What word, Jess? Emanate. Well, let's look that one up. Oh look! Emanate means to flow or to radiate. Oh, so I guess that must mean he had ideas flowing or emanating from his mind. Yeah, let's move on to word choice. He used many interesting words and to portray an intense and challenging topic. I agree. However, he also used simple words, especially in the third stanza, to show his emotions and experiences are relatable. You know what else I noticed about the third stanza? Is that the lines seem shorter than the rest of the lines in the poem. That's right! And they all end with me! Uh, no, no, they end with me. Um, Sabine. Um, I was talking about the word me. <laughs> oh, of course. Okay, I knew that one. Okay, I also noticed that there does not appear to be any specific sound devices like onomatopoeia, assonance, consonants, or anything else like that. Yep. Well, that makes it easier for us, doesn't it? <laughs> sure does. <laughs> Alright, now that we've analyzed it, let's tie all the things together and discuss why the things that Mr. Oseke included in his poem contributed to the sense and the meaning of the poem. Well, the first thing we need to do is figure out what the sense is. Sure thing. I think it's talking about how life is hard and not always what we expect. But that God can help you through all that stuff. That was important to our poet because he's a pastor. So, you are so right, Jess. But how do all the things we talk about relate to this sense? As we mentioned before, he uses both simple and complex words to talk about this tough topic and to show that it is also relatable to many people. This is also shown in the simplicity of the rhyme scheme, but the complexity of the rhythms. Now, structure of the poem also contributes to its meaning. It seems like the first three stanzas are talking about the dreams versus reality. Then the third stanza is all about his struggles. Then the fourth stanza is about how he plans on being okay with his problems because God is on his side to help him. Yep, it's a very deep topic and it's very good that Mr. Sake wrote about it because it's so important. Very inspiring, yes. Well, that's all the time we have for today. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See, See you next time, time on Blah Blah Blah! blah.